Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, I started a new video series uh, which is uh, Apache Spark Data Frame Practical Tutorial. So in this video we saw uh, many videos on how to create a, a Spark Data Frame using a different data source API like from the file, different file system as well as from different NoSQL database using their connectors APIs and also <coughs> excuse me so we saw how to uh, create a Spark data frame you see, uh, using a uh, um, RDBMS database like MySQL uh, using a JDBC connector. Okay, so uh, still now we saw like uh, uh, we can create a data frame right from either from the data file system or uh, uh, or uh, RDBMS NoSQL using the different data source APIs. Now we will start uh, uh, um, um, exploring about the, the operations like data frame operation we can perform on the data frame. Okay, so we'll start from this. So in this video, I'm going to uh, cover uh, um, basically two basic uh, transformations, okay, or you can say data frame operations, which is a select and alias, okay. So this is a very uh, simple one. Uh, uh, people who are from the um, uh, SQL or RDB mag background, it is very simple. So basically, select, basically, if you have a table, uh, if you want to uh, uh, basically retrieve few uh, column information you just provide your uh, column details in your select class okay in the sql query similarly a select is a function in the uh, uh, spark data frame so that you can actually data frame you know is a set of columns and uh, uh, rows right so if you want to select uh, say you have a data frame with the three columns if you want to select all the three columns or only few columns so you can provide in the select uh, function okay so you can pass in the uh, number of columns. So is there, it can be one column or multiple columns. You can pass. There are different uh, overload function for the select. You can use that. And uh, alias is basically uh, uh, creating a, uh, what to say, uh, you can say, think of as a renaming your column. Not exactly renaming. When, when querying it, you can actually change your, uh, uh, for just for displaying purpose. You can actually, there's a separate function to change the, column in the data frame but this alias is basically just for a display purpose if you example if you have a only user underscore id is there but yeah, you want to just display a user u caps and uh, you want to ignore this underscore and uh, id uh, is caps okay user id u and i i want to keep it between caps that you can actually do it using the alias so we'll see with the example uh, uh, okay now so basically i will open the the program which I written for this uh, so select so basically if you uh, think uh, take this okay this is a, a, a SBD based Scala project so I have already added the dependency okay so uh, this same similar thing we are working for all the examples but uh, so if you are not seeing the previous video please watch that videos I, I explained over the what is the use of every uh, dependencies so uh, you can just for this program only this is enough like Spark, only the Spark SQL difference is enough because it, it has core API as well as data frame, uh, all these uh, APIs. So these are the uh, these are dependencies used for different uh, uh, database or NoSQL connectors. Okay, so once uh, you have this file, so I'm creating a, a Scala object class so that we can have a main function to write our sample codes. So uh, first we are building the, uh, uh, do uh, import the required packages. So I'm creating this program within a package called uh, uh, com data making called uh, com dot data making dot apache dot spark dot data frame so uh, so you, you import the required packages so basically we are going to use the uh, spark session object uh, to create a spark session object we are going to use the spark session class uh, for pro object uh, basically we want to build the data frame using it programmatically so you don't need a row object a row class actually uh, so we are going to use that okay for defining a schema these are the classes needed okay so first thing is create a, a spark session uh, object then uh, set the log level as error uh, then we are going to construct the simple data frame using uh, uh, the row uh, class so basically you can s prepare the sequence of row objects okay and you, in the row you pass this as uh, my user id user name and user city okay so that you define it here sequence of uh, row objects and then uh, we want to convert this uh, uh, sequence object into already using a parallelized method uh, and you need to actually want to give schema for this uh, data so you are providing preparing a schema using a 
struct type which will have a array of struct fields so each struct fields refer to the particular column uh, information whether the user id is an integer type or uh, what type of uh, data type they are going to use for uh, user name and user city yes in a string type so once you have a user uh, schema so you can pass this uh, uh, once you can uh, first you need to convert this into rdd uh, using the create data frame you can pass the rdd comma schema then you will get a data frame okay so i'm just uh, uh, displaying the uh, all the values from data frame and also printing the data frame structure to see the schema okay so you see here uh, so i can apply the on data frame i can apply the select function and i pass the set of columns so it, if you pass star all the columns will come uh, there's another example where you can pass the multiple columns so user id and user city and because if you want to change the order right so you just uh, you're given user id followed by user uh, city and uh, name uh, original schema was in the other uh, user id followed by user name so just for uh, understanding purpose you can provide like this and also here in this with a string uh, value i'm passing right you can also pass a column like a data frame of you pass this column so that you get the data frame column object is so you are going to select this column and also other ways uh, you can use the call function uh, to uh, convert your string into the data frame column and you can pass it and uh, um, yeah so and also you have uh, one more uh, example like um, you can actually uh, using so you to access the column right so basically uh, we use uh, 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 either a string value as a column name uh, by passing the string value here so here we just pass the string value right or you can pass the data frame column and or you can actually do using a dollar uh, operator okay to access the columns in the select class so if you want to use this dollar symbol then you need to do import this uh, spark implicit uh, uh, package so that it will work okay is that that's been handled in here okay so uh, as i said alias is basically to just change your uh, uh, column while displaying the data frame it's not going to change the data frame with the existing the one which you are uh, querying that data from column will not change just while displaying it here the select class uh, that column will get changed to or uh, what are the provider or the column you provided so user underscore id or small case i'm just uh, changing into so you provide a column dot this is a column dot alias of you can pass a string value which is user under user id you and uh, i as a caps letter okay <clears throat> and also i can provide uh, this column also with that in the select class so let's run this program and see how it works so it is going to create a, a, a spark session object and uh, with that it is going to execute all your code so basically uh, i'm running on local mode uh, so that's why i given local of steer uh, the star okay. so all your uh, spark code runs on local mode so if you want to run it this in the cl cluster mode you can just take this and using the spark submit command you can very well uh, submit this code like you can build the jar and uh, uh, um, submit using the spark submit command so let's see the output so first is the original data frame is this okay so you see the data frame schema in digest string thing so in the first example we just uh, put star so all the columns are coming the second example we change the column order user id followed by csd and the username it's coming like that and we the third we just only get querying the user id and fourth user id city we are querying like that is coming and you see the fifth example we just uh, use the alias right so if you see uh, the fifth example here we actually given the user id column we just changed it to user around us user id which is in caps that's why it is coming here so this is how you can actually use the select uh, um, and operation as well as the alias uh, function in the data frame i hope this video is helpful uh, please watch my other videos and playlist in my uh, channel and also please subscribe to my channel to get uh, more technology videos and also click on the bell button to get the notification thank you so much friends I'll see you in the next video i hope this will be helpful for you all
Thank you. See you in the next video.